Okay, so this is called the Referrals Accelerator Framework, and it's a three steps that you can take to get a ton of referrals from your regular clients. There's loads of stuff that's been written around this kind of thing, tools like introduce friend cards, uh, double incentives, one for the regular client and one for the newbie, but that's not what I'm covering here. Sometimes I think that we can rely too much on tools or props, which make it easy to not do anything, and we just kind of wait for the for the tool to do everything for us. What I'm suggesting is that we start making the most out of the strongest client relationships that you've got. In a recent workshop, I asked everyone to vote yes or no, would you like more referrals? And guess what everyone said? Absolutely, of course, they said yes. So given that we all love to get new clients recommended and we'd all like more of them, why are we not doing more to be proactive about it? So think about it. How many people did you hear your team ask for a referral today? And when you've done that, be really honest. How many did you ask? Because if you run a salon and you're still working with clients, you must lead by example. If you ask your team to adopt a new process and then you're not doing it, you're essentially saying it's okay not to bother. You know, there are three ways to get work done, all right? It's, uh, so you've got guesswork, you've got hard work, and you've got a framework. So what I'm going to share with you today is I'm going to share with you a framework which essentially helps you to teach your team how to get more referrals, but also one that you can use too. So let's start here by drawing out a, a little plan. One second, bear with me. So what I'm going to do here is put together a triangle. That's great, lovely. And then I'm just going to pop that in the middle, like so. So that takes us to step one. So step one is we got to make got to make a plan. Okay, You're terrible writing. Sorry about that. Let me try that again. Step one, we got to make a plan. All right. So at the start of every day, what I want you to do is I want you to look at your column of clients and I want you to find the ones that are the closest to your perfect client profile. These are the clients that are booked for the work that you like doing. They buy the products that you recommend and they're nice and they're easy people to work with. Okay. So, so when you've done that, that moves us on to step two. And in step two, what I want you to do is this. I want you to ask, I seem to have lost the ability to write today. I want you to ask for help. Okay. And when, so during the appointment, ideally not at the end, I want you to find a spot in the conversation where you ask the client if they'd be happy to help you with something. And then I want you to have a story ready, okay? So explain that you're looking to attract more new clients to your business because, now this could be any number of reasons. It could be that you've got a new starter. It could be that you've got new team members qualifying. Or it might just be that you're ambitious and you want to grow your business. And what's wrong with that? So you tell your story to your client and then you follow it with, and I would be so grateful if you could pass my card or recommend me to a couple of your friends or families that you think might enjoy coming here. So if that sounds hard, remember, these are your best clients of the day. You like them, they like you, they're going to say yes. Some of them are going to say yes with no intention of helping you. And so what? That doesn't matter, move on. Some of them are going to say yes with every intention of helping you, but then not recommend anyone. And again, that doesn't matter. But some of them are going to say yes, and then they're going to go and get you a new client. And when they get you a new client and that person comes in, that takes you to step three. And step three is welcome and thank you. That's right, I want you to welcome the new client and I want you to thank the existing one. So record where the new client heard about you and then make a note of the regular client so that, you, that recommended you. And when you get the new client come in, roll out the red carpet, give them your absolute best, but also talk about the person that recommended them because it gives you common ground and you'll build a stronger connection more quickly. And then when you've done that, I want you to say thank you to the existing client. It might be a handwritten note um, that, that's put through the post. I mean, they'll certainly remember that. It, uh, it could be that you phone them up or more commonly today, leave a voicemail. Or, or they might want a... Um, you might want to send an email or a text and that's absolutely fine too but if you do make it uber personal 
And the last thing you want these people to think is this is some kind of like send to all template. Use their name, use the client, their recommended names, thank them, um, tell them you're looking forward to seeing them and sign off personally when that's done. You might be thinking to yourself, you know, what's all the fuss about? Well, let's just look at it this way. If you have those conversations with clients that you like and that who like you, you might get one more referral a week. And if you get one more referral a week, you might keep half of those clients might become regulars, which essentially means after a year, you've got 26 extra clients a week, which may well be more than you can even cope with. So surely that has got to be worth changing the type of conversation you're having with your favorite clients each day. So listen, if you have got this far, thank you very much. My name's Colin Shove, and I am from the Salon app. Can I ask you a favor, please? If you could like and share and subscribe to this channel, it's going to really help us to share our information with a wider audience. So thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you next time.